Today, we're gonna do some analysis in ArcGIS Online. Get ready to live. Here we are in the glorious ArcGIS Online map viewer, and I have before me a layer showing all 118 parks maintained by the city of Lansing, Michigan. What I wanna do is create a walkability neighborhoods around each park to show me the park territory or the underlying population that it serves, a nearest park territory generation. And I'm gonna use the analysis tools to do this. So I'll hit this interesting looking icon here and I'm in the tools and I'm gonna expand use proximity. And I'll choose generate travel areas. And the layer that I I want to use for this is of course Lansing Parks. So I'll select that one, 116 parks. I don't need to introduce any optional barriers like if I had roving packs of dogs that lived right here or like a waterfall that was right here. I don't need to do that. Everything is good enough. I do want to use walk time. So I'm going to use walking time and the cutoffs I'll say if I've walked half an hour I've gone too far and I can just go ahead and stop drawing that polygon. No problem. Half hour walk. Minutes is an okay unit for time away from the parks, that's fine. Departure time doesn't matter to me. I don't think there's a lot of uh, traffic jams for pedestrians in Lansing, depending on the time of day. Overlap policy, policy is a weird word for this, but anyways, overlap. I don't want these zones to overlap each other. I don't want 30 minute walkability zones around each park. I want to carve up this area to see the nearest park. So I'm gonna choose split. I want the walkability zone to stop the second it gets closer to another park and we'll split that. So we'll create territories. The output name, I'm gonna call this Park Walk Neighborhoods. Park Walk Neighborhoods. Now this does cost me. Let's estimate the credits. Okay, 58 credits. So it's a half a credit per input feature. I'm gonna go ahead and splurge and run it. So what is a credit worth in real life money? Well. It depends because you get some credits with your account, but if you have to buy more, for 1,000 credits, it costs $120, so 12 cents a credit. Okay, this job has been submitted to the ArcGIS Online geoprocessing robot in the sky, and I can view its status. It should make the noise, woo woo, like Knight Rider. It's a Knight Rider loading indicator. Okay. I'm done. Okay, so we've created walkable neighborhoods around every park in Lansing. Let's stuff it with population data. So here we have our parks and our beautiful walk turf zones. I'm gonna bring up this analysis tool once more and I'm going to look for enrichment. Enrichment. Because I want enrichment. Uh, enrich layer. <laughs> I'm going to search for enrich so I can enrich this layer with some population data. And my input feature, of course, is gonna be my brand new sparkling park walk neighborhoods. And the variable that I'm gonna stuff into this is potentially legion. You can put so much amazing stuff into this. I'm just gonna do something simple. Population, totals, um, Esri 2003, this is like, uh, a bunch of statisticians came up with a pretty great estimate of total population. 2003, total population, thank you Esri, demographics folks. Select and uh, my output name is gonna be park, walk, neighborhoods, population. And uh, I sped old neighborhoods wrong. Park, walk, neighborhoods, population. Uh, how many credits is this gonna consume? Not many, that's great. Okay, let's run it. I can check the history here. Okay, we're done. I can turn off my old layer, turn off parks, and now I have uh, park walkability zones. And just to just to see this thing through, I'm gonna go to the styles and I'm going to add the population field, pop total population, add, and there we go. I've created park service areas color-coded by population. And that, my friends, is how you take simple points and make them amazing with an underlying network and demographics.